All right. Ha <laughs> ha! Helps to put a round in there. So today we've got a, an interesting video for you. We are going to do a staccato, a $2,500 gun, versus a custom Sig P320. I did a video on this a while back. And uh, see what our opinions are between the two. I wanted to take some time to let you all know that we're going to be launching a store where you're going to be able to buy some of the uh, the shirts that you'll be able to see me wearing throughout some of my videos. And so check that out. Um, we're intending on starting that on March the 1st. Please feel free to drop by that because as you already know, I am my own sponsor. So every little bit helps. So this one, uh, if I remember correctly, this is numbers just off the top of my head. I haven't done any calculations uh, when I started talking. Probably should have done that. So I'll put the numbers up there in just a second. But this was just over $1,000 for me to build. Whereas this is a $2,500 gun. So um, let's see how the recoil and everything hold up between the two and uh, see which one we end up liking for the price point more. All right, first up, we have the SIG. This is a, uh, if you haven't seen the video, I would recommend going back and watching it so that you know everything that's on it. But basically, this is just a, uh, a, a 3.6 inch um, compact barrel length that's threaded and has a compensator on it. So, but the front, the, I should say, uh, yeah, the, um, what's this dumb thing called? Grip module. The grip module is for a, uh, a an X carry. So let's take some shots here. See what the recoil impulse is like. And let's do a string of five. Ah! I'm still sticking. <laughs> I'll say that this is one of my favorite guns to shoot. So what we're doing is, is this is going to be an accuracy part for the SIG. So um, I'm, I am about, what is this, eight yards? I think this is eight yards away. I'm going to break off ten shots. You're going to look at the grouping that I have with the SIG. And then after we, uh, then we're going to go and do the staccato. All right. <laughs> Helps to put a round in there. Ah, that was the first one. There we go. I overlapped. Nice. I'll take that. What was that? Six? I lost count. Oh, man. I'll just fire three more. All right, let's take a look at my, my shot group. This is at eight yards. These ones down here, I started getting a little carried away, but that's, oh well, eight yards. Y'all can make fun of that all you want. I know you will. All right, so now I'm gonna do some speed for y'all with it. One, three, three. One, four, six. One, two, four. All right, we'll take that.
One, two, four, exact one again. All right, last one. And this one, I'm not even, go I'm gonna, wherever that, wherever it is when it comes up, I'm gonna shoot around. I'll take it wherever I can get it because I'm just gonna go as fast as I can. I say that and I'm gonna mess up. Point nine nine. I'll take that. And I broke the line, so I, I'm gonna claim at least a hit, all right? And it's definitely not super A zone ish, but. All right. So that was my point nine nine right there. So as you can see, I was just throwing up, trying to get as best I can. But I'd say probably this right here was A zone, with these three being outside A zone. Um, I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all can make a decision on that. I'll let y'all call it. You know, whatever you think is fair. We're gonna switch over the to the staccato now, and see how that runs in comparison. Now we're going to shoot the staccato here, and see what we think of it, accuracy-wise. So you're gonna see the group here that I'm gonna that I'll make. Let's get here. All right. Shooting left, I don't know why. Oh, wow, that goes off very quickly without you expecting it to when you have gloves on. All right, let's go take a look at this. I, may, I need to, I think, adjust the sight. But this was this was the this was the uh, the grouping that I was getting. So it's still a very similar grouping, very accurate grouping. I gotta make some adjustments on that sight, I think. But um, they're both accurate guns. But what I will say is, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a few shots here. Let's see how much uh, how much ammo I got. Just over five, so that'd be six. Okay. Um, so watch the recoil impulse between the two. Can't keep doing that with his gloves. <laughs> My hands are so cold. I'm a wuss. So now what we'll do is we will I'm gonna put a little bit more ammo in it and then we're gonna do some time stuff with it. All right, we do a little speed drill with this, just see what it's like. This is, I was trying to hit the, whenever I did it the first time earlier, I was trying to hit that button like it was my duty holster. I, I forget that it's just draw and pull. All right, let's do some, uh, Speed drills with us, see what we can get time time wise. That's a one eight nine, that's bad. Oof. One five two. Three three. One three three. Oh, another right on. One one nine. And last one. All right. There we go. So, um, my opinion. They're both great guns. Um, I like them both for different reasons. It's like picking out your children. I like you because of this, but you're all equal, you know, but you've got strengths in this, these areas. Um, I really like that SIG. Um, that compensator that Harrington Arms makes is just, it's a, it's a killer of a compensator. 
And I know if I was sh shooting it apples to apples, which would be shooting the Staccato uh, XC versus that, that custom P320, that would be apples to apples. Uh, but I would say that Staccato does a phenomenal job holding up with the fact that it is built the way that it's built. And I think that the, um, uh, but I do think that as far as recoil impulse compared to the SIG P320, like the recoil impulse from SIG, that custom SIG P320 to the recoil impulse on the Staccato, they feel about the same. And uh, so I think that that, uh, that custom build did do a better job as far as recoil impulse. Plus the benefit to that is that build is just over $1,000. So, um, so the gun that you're going to get for just a little over a thousand dollars, that's, that's a pretty good deal. So, um, uh, as far as, as far as accuracy, they're both really tight. I'm, I'm not going to be able to pick a difference between those two. Um, they're both great guns, but as far as, as far as between those two options, the custom SIG P320, I think it's pretty good for the for the value you're going to get a lot for the value of money that you're going to spend making something like that well thank you all for dropping by the channel appreciate it y'all have a great day if um if you feel like it maybe like subscribe maybe even throw a comment down there you can th you can you can be rude if you want i don't even care you just comment whatever you feel like because i know i mean if you've made it this far through the video I, you, you must have at least got something out of it but uh y'all have a great day